All right guys, welcome to a new video and today we're gonna be talking about how to warm up in Rainbow Six Siege. So a lot of people have been asking about this and I said I will do it, so that's why I'm doing this right now. Uh, a lot of people are, you know, saying, oh, I don't know how to warm up, my aim doesn't get better, blah, blah, blah. T-Hunt is actually one of the best ways to improve your aim, so keep on grinding and you guys will get, you know, to the point where you guys want to be at some point. So uh, be sure to watch the whole video to, you know, get all the tips and tricks and yeah, that's pretty much gonna be it. So enjoy the video. All right, so for the T-Hunt. So I see a lot of people saying, yo, if you don't play T-Hunt on realistic or hard, you're bad or something. Don't even listen to those people. Play T-Hunt on normal because at the end of the day, you're just trying to, to warm up your aim. There's nothing else you're trying to do uh, in T-Hunt. And to be honest, if you're playing realistic, you just try way too hard. Like these bots, like those bots are actually so annoying. And another thing that I want to say is, if you guys are trying to practice with a gun, you know, if, if you're trying to practice with Ash's gun, try to play with Ash, obviously, in T-Hunt, if you're trying to play with Twitch, blah, 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 you guys uh, get the gist. For example, with Twitch, you can move, uh, Twitch, I mean, Ash, you can move around a lot quicker. Your movement is probably going to be a lot better just because she's a three speed. But with Twitch, it's going to be a lot different because she's a two speed. And then you also have the, the one speeds that are completely different. To, to you know to work with and you guys should just work out what works the best for you if you guys like two speeds one speed with three speeds try to work with them and you know if you guys are not good with uh, certain operators try to play with them so you guys get better at them but obviously you can also just learn four operators and just grind those four operators for you guys to just you know get better at uh, you know controlling the recoil and all that stuff so that's why T hunt definitely hel helps you out but I also want to point out that movement is also pretty important so what I mean by that is getting behind cover and all that stuff what is this guy doing here I'm gonna jump out oh and there's a sea bar great dude this guy just baited me I swear to god because obviously I play with uh, Control Freaks, as a lot of you already know, but uh, first off, I'm not sponsored by Control Freaks, so don't think I'm just saying this up because I am sponsored by them. So they give me a lot more control over my aim, first off, and over my movement. I used to only play them on my left stick, but right now I'm actually playing them on both sticks because I feel like it gives me a lot more control and I'm a lot more consistent. Okay, as I say that, I completely potato. Anyways, it gives me a lot more uh, consistent aim, I would say. Another thing that I also want to point out whenever I play Tihan is obviously I focus on my aim and all that but the most important part about my aim is more the recoil control than anything else so I try to just laser people I don't even try to go for you know precise shots I just try to uh, keep my aim as straight as possible because at the end of the day Tihan is nothing like rank but it, it still warms up your aim obviously for accuracy and all that but whenever you're playing, oh wow, whenever you're playing T-Hunt, then, uh, you know, people are usually not moving around and you don't really have to trace people uh, because they're not really, you know, just standing still in T-Hunt. So that's and w just one thing that you guys cannot really practice when you're you know, playing T-Hunt, but, you know, you get used to it once you play a lot of ranked and all that. So that's literally the smallest issue right there. All right, so for the last part, I'll show you guys my least favorite operator, or the not least favorite operator, least favorite gun in the entire game, which is the bearing nine. The, the bearing nine is actually terrible. And uh, since the like, I don't know, this, I don't even know how long the patch was ago, but since the patch, this gun has just been terrible. So what I try to do whenever I try to you know get better at a gun, I just spray this well I usually use this wall right here they spray at this wall try to you know tr kind of figure out what the recall is and then I just get right into the action because I don't want to waste too much time just standing around there you guys can still get ammo uh, from the ammo crates in here but you know it's up to you guys how, how many times you want to test out the recoil so and then because look at this gun. this is just terrible maybe it's just me I don't know let me know in the comment section below if you guys are actually good with this gun or if I am you know uh, not the only one that is actually having trouble with this gun. So right here you can just get ammo and then uh, I usually go in from the bottom I'm not trying to go from the middle because then I just get clustered from everywhere and Then those bombers come and just suicide bomb us. So GG to that uh, but Yeah, I just, just run around dude. I pretty much said everything so 
I mean, right now I can literally just run around and do whatever I want, but this is not going to be pleasant. Like, my aim is literally so doo-doo with this gun, so just get ready. Uh, so, for example, with this gun, right now I'm not even going to try to go for, you know, especially this long-range gunfights, I'm not even going to hold down a trigger. I legit have to go for one-taps. But for close ranges like this, I can just, uh, you know, just get... Just hold down a trigger this gun is pretty much only worth using when you are going for long distance gunfights especially on console i mean on pc I, I don't know maybe it's different but right here i'm just you know trying to go for you know cute little taps right here nothing nothing too crazy uh for those long shots but for just medium to long, uh, short shots gunfights whatever you want to call it then i try to just hold down a trigger Right now it's not looking too bad, but you know, whenever you use, I feel like whenever you use this gun and you switch to your normal gun or another gun, dude, this is a laser. Like, just look, this is an absolute laser gun now. This, this feels like it doesn't even have recoil. It's actually such a nice feeling. Woo! All right, all right, guys. I think it's gonna be it for me. I hope you guys enjoyed the video though, and I kind of, you know, helped you guys out on what to do in Tian and how to improve your aim. But I think that's gonna be it. Uh, if you guys. You know, if it did help you, please leave a like. If you guys have any more tips, leave them in the comment section below. And yeah, that's pretty much going to be it for me. And I will catch you guys in the next one. Peace out.